Hi, welcome back to the Atlas Search Scene. This is episode eight, our final episode of season one of the Atlas Search Scene, Tips and Tricks. All right, so uh, this is gonna be a handful of various tips for you to uh, explore while you're leveraging Atlas Search. Um, we wanna make sure that you have the information that you need as a developer to understand and iterate and improve your Atlas search results. So there's a couple of debugging techniques or diagnostic techniques that you can use to get some insight from, from Atlas search. First, let's look at the explain. So when we do a particular query against Atlas search, let's just look at a basic query here. And for this particular query here, we want to look and see how Atlas search did what it did. Uh, there's an API method called explain and you can do the same thing through compass. So we click the explain button here. Again, you can do the same thing through the API using the dot explain method. And what we'll get is all of the stages that we used in our aggregation pipeline and some debugging information about what happened, how it interpreted our query, how it parsed our query into the query elements of Lucene, and then we also get timing information as well. So there's a lot of useful debugging information in there to, to troubleshoot and get diagnostic and just kind of understand what um, Atlas Search is doing there. <clears throat> Next up, we want to look at the score details. The score details are how Atlas Search and Lucene itself scored your documents given the query that you provided. Um, we can look at that through the lens of uh, projecting the score details into our documents. All right, let me refer you to this document here at Atlas Search Relevancy Explain, an article that I recently wrote to explain how scoring works with Atlas Search. And the trick here that I want to point out is being able to get the score and the score details um, in, your, in your results. And you do that by uh, saying that you want to project the score details here you want to get the score details back from the dollar search operator and then you project those back into uh, the resulting documents and so when you get the resulting documents you will get a data structure such as this with all of the gory details of how uh, scoring occurred how the matching occurred and so on um, this output is a little hard to read because it's a nested uh, JSON-like structure here. And so there are some tricks to uh, pretty print this. There's a little bit of code here that I put in this article um, in JavaScript in this case, or Java. And it will pretty print the score details in a nested tree-like fashion here. Uh, slightly easier to read and you can understand the details a bit better. And uh, so take a look at this article. We'll put the link in the description below uh, to get some insight into that. Um, and finally, I want to leave you with a couple of uh, parting points with Atlas Search. Um, first of all, the documents that you have in your collection, again, map one to one to the Lucene index structure under the covers of Atlas Search. So you effectively model it how you want to find it. The documents that you put into your collection are the documents you get back out from the Atlas Search um, operations. And, and, and my last point that I want to make uh, is really about relevancy. And we've made this point a few times throughout this uh, uh, season of episodes here that you want to craft your queries such that you match multiple ways and let relevancy sort it out. So you can put in a compound with multiple clauses and allow relevancy to weight the documents uh, to achieve the best results for your application and your users. Thank you for listening to the Atlas Search Scene. See you next season.